Okay. Uh, let me study some like round. Let me study some round. Let me study some round. Let me see. Oops. Oops, sorry people. Uh, let me see if you can turn this around. I think it's this one here. I'm not used to this one yet, but uh, <laughs> let me see. How do you turn it around? Uh, this one here. Number 50? Oh, the, it's out of these two now. 50 will attack them in. Okay, let's see. Which one's that? The M50. M50. Yes. Well, you do a review for me, you know, James. Let me just stop this on here. Let me stop this on. It's recording. Hi everyone! Hi, Hi Nilta here with James. Yeah, I'm James. trying some of his beautiful guitars. I'm like a kid in a lolly shop and I cannot decide which one to go okay. for. Okay, so what have you narrowed down, James? Narrowed it down to the uh, M50. Yeah. This one here, beautiful, and the uh, Takamini number eight. Tell us a bit more about it. Why have you chosen this? It's just choose? got the most warmest, robust, yet sweet and delicate sound combination. That is just beyond words really. So you do get a favor have someone actually have requested me to do this to compress this too. Yeah. yeah? So by James doing it, I don't have to do it. <laughs> they're, okay. they're pretty um pretty similar really. The M8 and the uh, sorry the the Takami number eight and the M50 I'm, I'm finding it really difficult to uh, distinguish. How would you describe it? Uh, so people from home at home, so they get an idea. Uh, so the M50 it's would sound like uh, a... these warm basses. And responsive to sort of vibrato. Beautiful, very deep sound. Yet bell-like tones up top. Fifty number fifty was made in is this date in there? Okay, nineteen eighty one, right? And the back of it, I love the back. Let me show you the back, James. That's beautiful. When you shine the light on it, it's like kind of play flex back and it shines. It's like three D side you know, color. And the other one you chose was the number eight. Yeah, the number eight. Now James gonna play something for you guys. Now, gonna we'll play, play the same song. Yes. Thank you. 
like some mm. here is opposed to the other one. It's similar, this but is really try, hard. Try to. Really hard. <laughs> I know. What I like is the treble. It's like a crystal clear mm-hmm. bell. Like you're hitting the glass. You ping. There. See, it's clear. I don't really have to choose now, but yeah. uh, it's hard when you get to that level. Yeah. Level, it's not anymore mm. a matter of better or worse. Mm. It's a matter of taste, yeah. Yeah, of preference, yeah. and either of them be wonderful. It's a matter of or whether you your partner would like a guitar for Christmas. Would she like one for Christmas? No, she doesn't know I'm buying this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> While well, Jen's playing that, you can see the other side of my room. Normally, you see the other side, this side here, with lots of guitars. And that, oops, sorry, excuse me, I'm moving. Okay, but I'm gonna turn around and show you. This is handheld, okay, this is back, back there. So, all the books are there behind James. You've got the piano there, the piano. All the accessories there. And you can see up there is a Yamaha. Dynamic number one, the very first guitar Yamaha made when we tried to break into the music uh, business. I'll show you one day. Is there anything you want to tell the audience, James, at home? Neil's got a fantastic collection of guitars, folks, and um, you can't you can't be disappointed in anything you choose here. Really, it's just like I'm like a kid in a lolly shop. Now, James has been around Melbourne, around Melbourne, and shop around all the shops, and, and um, yeah. This is the place where you, if you want uh, vintage Japanese guitars of quality, then Neil's, Neil's got them. And Jamie has really bought three guitars before this one here, yeah. and he wasn't happy with no. any. I had a, uh, an Ernest Ave, a Cordoba, and a Cato. All, I think all, well, the Spanish, one Spanish made, two Chinese made. And uh, yeah, very different to the Japanese sound, so. Yeah, I'm and then the higher French as well, about three and a half thousand dollars each. Yeah. But the Japanese are way better. Mm, yeah. uh, can you describe the difference between Japanese and Spanish? Just uh, more a tone. The, the, I found the Japanese, uh, the uh, Spanish ones, a bit just loud and brash. Uh, they sacrificed, you know, tone for volume, in my opinion. And yeah. these ones had it all. Yeah. So I remember you tell me that uh, the Spanish guitar don't have variety in the volume, so you yeah. play soft, it still sounds loud. Yeah. You play loud, sounds loud. Oops, excuse me, this is only sign of Parkinson. <laughs> and well, the Japanese, very respond to your touch. You play soft, you play soft. You play loud, you play loud. So it be much more responsive and expressive that way. Apart from the tone, which is fantastic too. And not to mention the wood, the timber here. Yeah? All these are made before, most of them, before 1977. From 1976 onwards, um, the World Heritage, I forgot the name, lists down that the kind of wood you're not allowed to chop anymore, not allowed to log. And uh, part of that was uh, Brazilian rosewood, you're not allowed to chop down. Brazilian ra- jaracanda and jacaranda, sorry, <laughs> and others. So my guitars have those rare woods which you can't find anymore mm. because it's, yeah. um, they, are, they are older than many of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, with some black guitar back there, the, that one there, it was made in 1963, which is older than me, anyway. Uh, okay, so is there anything you want to say before you say I'm, I'm not going to choose on, on the camera, but I'm going to choose one of these. They're both fantastic. So and this is a... This is a Takamini number 8. And, of course, the... Uh, Matsuoka, is that what you Matsuoka M... Number 5. No, M50. M50, M50, M50. Number 5 is the yeah. Takamini, yeah. 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 So um, so either of them, yeah, it's fantastic. They uh, 
Yeah. What can I say? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. This one was made in 1985. This one in 81. So how old are they? Yeah, uh, 40, well, 40 yeah. years old? Yeah. 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 Fantastic, Nick. Yeah, Still, for what they are. He's really looked after them. Yeah, yeah. and I, yeah. I was telling James how to humidify mm. and dehumidify that I'm going to make me make a video. Because mm. many people don't know how to do that. Yeah, I think it would be a great idea. Yeah. Because I, I had a, a Japanese guitar from 1979. I bought it, but Neil's worked out it was made in 71. And I've just destroyed it because of uh, lack of care. Having it in a house with um, evaporative cooling has sort of just destroyed it. Yeah. The humidity. Yeah. So um, and it was a fantastic instrument, as good as these. Yeah. Or yeah. or maybe even better. Yeah. It was eighty thousand yen, guys, which is like a thirty months of wage. It's just a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. Imagine yourself how much you earn per month multiplied mm. by thirteen times. So it's a very good guitar. Mm. Anyway, uh, thanks, yes, James. No worries. Thank for you for contributing. Yeah. Uh, give James a like, please. <laughs> Click a like. Subscribe so you can see James again here. <laughs> the bell and we'll see you next time. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.